I'm gonna keep this short and to the point. Me, bad player. Demon list, very difficult. Me, no play demon list. Me, want to play demon list. Me, play first 1% of demon list. If that intro was kind of confusing, basically I'm just rating the demon list based off the first 1% of every single level. Starting off, we have Akron, and let me tell you, this level sucks. Luckily, the first 1% of the level is also auto, so we don't actually have to do much. The music what? is pretty mid to be honest, and the decoration is nothing special. B. Avernus is next, and dear god, I hate this level. Avernus is like the annoying sibling. You respect them as a sibling, but holy god, they suck. Getting 1% on this level took me way too long. Fixed hitboxes like this should never exist. F. Silent club step. This level makes me want to crawl up under a desk and wiggle back and forth. I love club step as a level, but this level scares me. Music is decent, but the black screen takes up most of the first percent, and since that's what I'm judging it on, I'm gonna have to go with F as well. Slaughterhouse is also completely auto for the first percent, which honestly surprised me. I had remembered to jump at the very beginning, but 1% is right before that. The deco is honestly pretty solid throughout the first 1%. I'll give this one an A. Q- 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 Kiyuki. I honestly hadn't even ever heard about this level before, so playing this for the first time was a new experience for me. Colors were really good, the song is okay, but the gameplay is what sells it for me. So far, the first 1% of levels have been completely auto or like one jump, but this level has multiple inputs and they're all different, S tier. Abyss of Darkness can go jump. This level took me, no joke, 122 attempts to get 1% on, and I don't think I could do that again if I tried. Starting out with a blind jump into some of the most annoying UFO timings imaginable is one of the worst ways I can think of to start a level. Most of the time, if I somehow managed to do the first blind jump, I would be so surprised that I would instantly die and have to restart. But the gameplay was at least somewhat interesting and not fully auto, so I will have to give this level a D. Sakup in circles seems like a fun idea for a level until you look at the gameplay. The first click seems basically impossible and luckily I knew what I was doing, but guess what? You can get 1% by just hitting the wall and dying. C tier. I'm pretty sure this next level took 7 years off my life expectancy. Firework is a cool level and it does not mess around. So far, this level has the most dense 1% gameplay out of any level we've seen, but it also looks pretty bland by way of decoration. It feels like it would eventually get consistent, but I don't want to spend the time trying to get there. C. Also never heard of this level, but apparently it exists. Minus Dry by CD Music is... A level? Sorry, that's the most I've got for this level. You actually do have one jump to get past 1%, but it's a fairly easy jump. Decoration looks like an early 2.0 style, which isn't too bad. B. Ah, uh, yes. Limbo. This level is absolutely terrible in my opinion. Based on my totally not skewed opinion and the fact that it took me turning on show hitboxes to even figure out how to do the first 1%, and even then struggling really bad, I want to rate this F tier, but to be fair, the decoration is solid and there's actual gameplay. I'll bump this up to D tier. Poo cubed. Fun fact, you can't actually die at 1% here. It's physically impossible. The only way I can think of to get 1% on this level is to turn on die at percent using mega hack. In the first 1% you see nice colors in the start of a logo. I'll give it a very respectable B tier. You also can't die at 1% on this level either, so I once again have to use mega hack to get the full 1% experience. The screen for the first 1% is completely black with nothing visible besides a few portal flashes. Easy F tier. Actual gameplay. The hallucination has to be some of my favorite gameplay so far. I honestly couldn't even tell you why, it just feels so satisfying to play through. It's difficult without seeming overly difficult, of course this is just the first 1%. This level might be my favorite so far. S tier. EOD or Edge of Destiny is a remake of Blade of Justice. I really enjoy the prequel, so I figured I would also enjoy this level. Wrong. My least favorite thing in this entire game is feather robot jumps, and guess what you have to do in the first jump? F tier. Oblivion has some pretty funky gameplay. I also hadn't ever heard about this level, so that was cool. To be fair, I haven't heard of most of these levels before. I don't know the best way to actually do the first jump or what to do after that, but luckily I don't have to. Color palette is pretty bland, and the song for 1% is meh at best. C tier seems fitting. Random spaced out triple spikes coming out of the ground? I swear this might as well be Michigan reincarnated for the first percent. Rest in peace. Yeah, to be honest, the first 1% of this level misses a lot in my opinion. However, the decoration isn't the worst thing I've seen. So I feel like D tier would be fair here as well. I hate this level. With a passion. Unknown by Nine Dice might have some of the worst first 1% gameplay out of any level I have seen so far. Even giving this level F tier would be too unfair. I'm literally giving this level its own tier, do not play tier. 
Thank god the first jump is after 1% in this level. Tartarus is like Josh Hutcherson. Nobody knows where he came from, he's just suddenly everywhere and we have to learn to accept that. There's no hiding from this level and there's no hiding from Josh Hutcherson, they simply are. As far as this level goes, the first 1% has the most boring decoration so far besides a black screen. S2 seems reasonable to me. Um, not sure what happened there. Let me quickly reset Geometry Dash. Okay, yep, that's the runtime error. Good game. Oh good, all my 1% progress has been deleted. That's fun. Anyways, the first jump in this level seems impossible, but it's really not. Once you get it, you get it, and after that you just click with the music to get through the tight timings. Very flashy level, lots of yellow, B tier. Oh, thank god, and all that is good, 1% is before the frame perfect. This level is obviously a remake of Sonic Wave, in case you couldn't tell. I actually didn't dislike this level when I played it. The decoration is solid, the song is solid, the only thing stopping me from putting this level in S tier is that it's a remake which does lose a few points. A tier. Oh great, we have another 1% auto level. It's starting to become like that one Spider-Man meme where they're all pointing at each other because these are all so freaking similar. Treffet has really cool decoration, the song sounds pretty okay. Overall, I would give the first 1% a C because there's no real gameplay. To be honest, I've always heard of this level but never tried it. The Golden by blah 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 blah. You actually do have to do some inputs here. The decoration is some of the better decoration so far. The song is neutral in my mind. A tier. Walter White. Why does this level have this name? Nobody knows. Does it live up to the potential offered by the drug lord in question? No idea. I only played the first 1% of this level. I would say that the colors here are more vibrant than a lot of the other colors and levels we've seen. I do think that this is a decent level. B tier. Also, before we move on, I have decided to turn on auto kill at 1.5%. That way I get the experience of just the start of the level and have no more if I do happen to get further. For an extreme demon, no less an extreme demon in the top 30, 40,000 downloads is super low, but alright. Sinister Silence is an insanely long level by the looks of it. I honestly didn't even get 1% in normal mode because it was 5 or so seconds of top 30 gameplay that I wasn't prepared for, and it broke me. Good gameplay, good song, good decoration, what more could I ask for? S tier. Alright, alright, now we seem to be getting to some good levels. Apparently I've already tried this level, but I have no memory of it. For a long time I've always thought that someone else is on my Geometry Dash account, and this basically confirms that for me. As far as the level goes, the level is really cool with a good song and interesting gameplay, but some of the timings seem a bit random. B. So much of this level is sadly just a black screen because it looks like it has so much promise. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. But I've considered it. Since I am technically doing the first 1.5% of this level, I gotta see a bit of the rest of it and it all looks interesting. The song is mellow and calm which confuses me since this is, you know, uh, a top 50 extreme. Decoration is very nice and moves toward the art or modern style. A tier seems fair but the dark screen makes me drop it to B. Zodiac is one of the most well-known extreme demons out there, and from what I've seen, sadly, most of the levels known for about the 25% mark. The beginning of the level is actually really easy for an extreme demon this high on the list. The decoration is good but not amazing, and there's enough inputs in the first 1% to get my approval. I see tier for this one. Man, the first 1% of this level really doesn't do this level justice. I would say that this level as a whole is A or S tier, but I have to judge just the first 1%. Sadly, the decoration is so bland in the beginning and so basic, I have to give this one C tier as well. Kinos feels like it has promise up until you get to this stupid second orb tap. You have to do one of the most annoying timings to get through this gap, and then follow that up with another annoying timing that I basically managed to fluke in a few attempts. Song is overrated but fits the theme. Decoration is more basic for a hell type extreme demon, but well executed. B tier. Oh man, this is a dense level. Timing's everywhere with tons of decoration, not hard to see what's happening, but very hectic and fast paced. Timings are tight but manageable, the color scheme is really appealing, I would give this level an A tier. Somehow this level manages to be long but also completely auto first percent. Not only that, but the first 75% of the first 1% is also a black screen. Wouldn't normally be an issue, but it is here, the flashing lights are a cool effect, but I can't actually see enough of the level to judge it. Going off what I have here, D tier is fair in my opinion. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Kiris? 
Kiri's seems like it would be a cool level, but the first 1% is pretty bland as well. I also die literally pixels before the next part, which is cool, but the part of the level that I can see is lots of green and over-decorated look that is pulled off well and pretty easy gameplay. Another middle of the line first percent B tier. This level is exactly the type of decoration I would expect from a 5 star level, but it still looks really good. Jumps are tight, the background is actually really well done, if it wasn't for the fact that I dislike modern decoration, I might rate this level a lot higher, as is, I would give this level a C. Why do invisible spikes even exist? Who knows. This gameplay is so boring that I honestly just want to move on from this level and my life. D tier, no questions. Huh, that's cool. This level has a first jump that somehow manages to last for almost a full percent in the level. I would assume that means the rest of the gameplay is really difficult, but who am I to judge? Decoration is okay, but the first jump looks to be a fixed hitbox frame perfect which loses at points in my book. C tier once again. Thinking Space is named Thinking Space for a reason. It's because it's so bland and boring with the most annoying start that you will die to it over and over and over and over and that you will have nothing better to do than just think about anything else. Also, there's the 1% text just to remind me of all the times I didn't get to 1%. F tier. How am I even supposed to pronounce that? Honestly, I don't actually know. Anyways, the first 1.5% of this level is also auto, so I have nothing to go off. I could say D because at least the screen isn't black, it's a shade of blue, but F tier hasn't really got a whole lot of things in it, so F tier. Do you hate yourself? Well, so did whoever made this level. This is just bad, and honestly, it's kind of funny that this level is one of my favorite levels further into the game, but this level is one of my least favorites from 0 to 1%. This start is really annoying and not fun, D tier. Remember what I said a while ago about hating feather taps in the robot? That's basically all I need to say. The decoration is meh, but the glowing and pulsing blocks are a cool addition, C tier. I am convinced that this level is only as high on the list as it is because of its length, and not because of the difficulty. Esfera is a really cool decoration level and has good color palette, enjoyable gameplay, but no true difficulty. However, I do really like the start to this level. I honestly want to try this level more in practice mode, and that in my mind rates it pretty high. S tier. Uh, yes, more auto levels. If you enjoy that kind of thing, you might enjoy this start, because the screen is mainly black. You can see the decoration though just before you die, which looks really solid. The health theme is overdone, but it's popular for a reason. It makes for a really good level design. Cop out or not, I still think it looks good. D tier though, since it was fully auto and a black screen. I was going for 1.5 on this level like I do with the rest, but god, that first click is miserable to get through. Fragile instantly puts you into the level with basically no warnings. Starts either a frame perfect or close to a frame perfect, followed by a fast click that you cannot buffer. I would explain the rest of the level to you, but I never got there. The song reminds me of MGK, and you can tell me if that's good or bad, but I'll give this level with the deco a solid B. I feel like I've heard of this level before now, but I don't remember when that would have been or where. The hell theme is a pretty dominant theme in the demon list, but this once again pulls it off well. The shades of red are nice, and the black glow is a bit overdone, but the gameplay is at least solid for the first few clicks. I'll give this level an A. To be honest, playing this level makes me want to run crying to my mom and tell her that someone at school was bullying me just because. I didn't even get to 1% on this level because I hated the gameplay that much. Also, I couldn't figure out how to do just before 1%, so as anyone would do, I gave up. F tier. Cold Sweat gives me the same vibes that Black Blizzard does at the beginning. I like the flashing effect. It adds difficulty without actually adding much to the level, which some people might not like, but I find to be okay. The decoration is, like I said, something I don't mind. The, the jumps seem like they would eventually get consistent, but aren't anywhere near there for me. I feel the B tier is fair for this level. Apparently, this song isn't allowed for use, which confuses me, but a lot of levels have the same issue. I would assume copyright issues, but I will still be docking at points. The first green orb tap is one of the latest green orb taps I think I've ever been forced to do, and the blue orb that follows is also a super late tap. If I was better at the game, I might have found this to be more enjoyable, but as is, I would give this another C. My god, this is one of the most insane looking backgrounds I've ever seen. This level actually looks like space. The colors are amazing. If it wasn't for the fact that the gameplay was so difficult, I would try to beat this level. A lot of levels like this make me want to become a better player just so I can beat the levels to experience art. An easy S tier for sure. Lucid Nightmares also lives up to its name. I got 1% on this level pretty quickly, but the level is actually pretty cool. I like the little dudes with red flashing eyes, it makes the level seem to come to life. The rest of the decoration is okay, but a bit bland. The gameplay seems like it would be fun once you get it down and get a good run in. Levels like this are interesting, but one that I will forget. C tier as well.
Okay. If you're watching this video, you probably watch other YouTubers. If you watch other YouTubers, you're probably aware of Aeon Air. And if you're aware of Aeon Air, you're probably aware of this insane fluke of an extreme demon from 14% or something like that. I don't care to do the research myself. That level is called Rash. This is not Rash. It is called Rust. I got them confused, and I figured somebody else probably did too, so there you go. As for the level itself, the decoration looks like an older level. The gameplay is also full auto up until I die. B tier. I honestly thought that Silent Club and Silent Club stuff were the same thing, but apparently not. Also, who in their right minds would make this kind of gameplay for a level? Luckily, I barely have to do anything, but this gameplay ages me 10 times faster than anything natural can. Am I saying this level's supernatural? Well, maybe. F tier. Looking at the time, this video is already getting pretty long, and I don't want to make a 2 hour video just for one thing. So if you guys want to see a part 2 or a part 3, please let me know by liking the video, subscribing, all those good things. But thank you guys for sticking around and watching till the end. It really does mean a lot, and I'll see you guys later.